Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me, let's play some more Ottoman World Conquest. So, we are about to get our three remaining cores to the Byzantines, they love us, which means that as soon as we end this war we're going to begin annexing all of this land that we're giving back to them. So we'll get a big chunk of it, it's going to be the right religion, free cores, and uh, for now, I don't see any armies coming, let's go ahead and upgrade our troop type to Azab Infantry. They are significantly better. You can still do sieges, even with uh, with no morale at all. Okay, so Venice is at medium war enthusiasm. They don't like the fact that they have a weak army. They think we're making gains. They've got 4.72 war exhaustion. And they're not involved in any other wars, are they? If we wanted to, we could support rebels in their country, but... The only place that they can revolt is in Crete, which wouldn't help us. So that'd be rather silly to spawn rebels in a province that we need to keep occupied. But the ticking war score is working in our favor now. 3.6. We're winning battles. 10 war score from that. We'll probably get about another... Looks like 1.5 or so for sieging Corfu. Corfu's got 4 base tacks. This one is 3 and 5. So yeah, about the same. About 1.5 probably. We're suffering on income right now because I'm not protecting trade. But our navy got kind of brutalized. We will definitely lose prestige over monarch points almost every time. Hungary is getting slaughtered by all of that. Holy crap. Oof, man. Austria has a lot of relationships. Sorry, Hungary. I really can't help you right now. I'm really preoccupied. I mean, I, I, I guess I could go up there. We do need Hungary, don't we? I mean, let's think, long term, Hungary is one of those countries that's pretty easy to become a uh, to personal union. They do have an heir, right? Not too long ago, they didn't. Same dynasty as Austria, that's what's dangerous about it. Yeah, Regency for Janos von Habsburg. I mean, we'll have to break the relationship with Hungary eventually. As long, I mean, they've kind of done their job. Austria is very weak, and um, I don't care about Hungary that much. All I need is the Holy Roman Emperor to be weak so that I can go and vassalize his princes. And as an Orthodox Ottoman... I should be able to just do something silly, like offer a loan to a prince, and then he'll default on it, and then I go attack him and make him a vassal. No, not our 0-5. No, he was a Colossus of Combat, I agree. Oh, we need a new one. Oh, a 2-4, not even that much worse. Awesome. I am lucky, lucky, lucky in this campaign. Oh, we'll recall the diplomat from Hungary. Let's work on Serbia again. Even though we're probably going to end up attacking them, forcing them to release that guy again and turn him into our vassal, still wouldn't be terrible for us to make Serbia like us, so that when we do start vassalizing them, they will uh, be easier to please. Okay, so we have the three remaining Byzantine cores occupied. Aside from this one over here that's owned by the Mamluks. That one we're just going to have to give up on. Well, let me let me just check it out. How strong are the Mamluks? we got 23,000 men. That's less than we have, but we have no manpower. They're on level 4 military tech. We're on level 5. Level 5 is very significant for the troop type but it doesn't give any bonuses to tactics or morale. Okay, so here's what I want, Venice. I'm going to want these three things. And that's just that's what you have to give me. Demands exceed war score, minus 100. Current peace offer. We might have to wait a bit and actually let that tick up another 20% to really get what we want. On the other hand, we could march over and siege Dalmatia. 
That seems like what we have to do. Military access again, please. I'll make up my mind eventually. Hey, Venice. Fancy seeing you here. Hi. Die. Excellent. Uh, only 1%. That's normal for a siege. If we can get them down to low war enthusiasm, maybe we can get them to agree to this a little bit easier. I don't want to have to go up to 55% war score, but that kind of looks like what we're going to need. Peace offer value of 55. We might be able to get away with like 45% war score, but not 22. At this point, they'd only give us one. And if we're going to be spending 90 Diplo points to take stuff from Venice, I think it makes sense to rival them. Because we can reduce the point cost. And why did that one get reduced, but Corfu didn't? Ah, it's because you're a vassal. Well, we still gained. Saved ourselves, like, 17 points. We spent 10 to, to save 17. Plus, we get more prestige and stuff. And uh, we can also embargo them. Oh, they're a rival. We're not at war with Cologne directly, are we? Hungary probably hates me. Look at this colorful mess of occupation that they're dealing with. Okay, we have um, still fewer heavies than they do. I'm pretty sure I built five, though, so... When those get finished, I'll be happy. We could take a new idea, but to end the war with Venice, we will need to have some diplomacy points on hand, so I want to save it. See, it actually says zero here, but I don't believe it. It says more than that. I think we just did return core. 24%. So Crete is... If we took Crete ourselves, it cost 28 and 15 over aggressive expansion. If we did return core, no aggressive expansion and less diplomacy. 24% war score versus 24%. Okay, so we're definitely going to do that. Return core. Corfu... I don't want to make them a vassal, so we just have to take Corfo and Nexos. Okay, just have to get some more war score. We have pathing through Aust through there. Let's let's go try to take Istria as well. I really could help out Hungary quite a bit. I just don't think it makes sense to do so. Okay, now they're down to low due to occupied and besieged provinces and stuff. Um, didn't really change the war score at all, because we, we just need more war score. Time to fabricate claims doesn't matter too much. Diplomatic relations will be very useful, though. Okay, so relative strength of the alliance is still way in their favor on land. But on by sea, it's almost totally equal. So I'd, I'd give ourselves the favor, since ours are more likely to be united. But um, France is contributing a huge number here. Is there any way we can separate peace anybody? Get you to leave us alone. They're not willing to surrender no matter what. Or sorry, accept 
peace of any kind. Okay, well, I think we'll just have to siege some more stuff from Venice. Oh, hey, there's a fleet. France is bringing over four regiments. There are five ships. And they do have a commander. Louis-Francois de Bonifoy. Five heavy, seven lights. And a light and, a, and an admiral. I can't take that. It's too strong. But as long as he's a dummy and he just lands his men... Oh, is it a commander and not an admiral? Because if it's an admiral, I don't want to fight it. If it's not an admiral, then I'll go kill it. Yes? Hello, Venice. No. That isn't exactly what I want. Another little bit of prestige is very good. No war score for that. Three three commander. All right. Um, I'd really like to get this army back down there so we can fight that four stack. Get some more war score. I feel like it's really risky though to leave this undefended. Like, how do Venice and Austria feel about each other? Austrian attitude friendly. They're friendly with each other. So Venice definitely has military access through Austria. So if they come around with just five regiments, they'll s just destroy my siege. But if I don't get the war score for killing this, they're going to occupy my vassals. I think we have to risk it. I don't, I don't think Venice has an army anymore. We have eight regiments somewhere, but no manpower. You know what the problem that might be? I think I might have blown up their entire navy, too. Venice has no transports. So what they probably did, they probably have all of their troops in the capital or something, and they... I don't know. They just they can't move them around or something. I don't know. I don't know where their troops are. Hmm. If we got the peace offer that we wanted, how many points is it going to cost us? It says 22, but I'm thinking more like 60. So we can probably take that idea now. Not that it really makes any difference, but... Are we allowed to have more than... Yeah, we can save up to 1248, actually. The French fleet did leave. Let's head up here and see if we can poke around in the Gulf of Venice. Get some blockades in. That'll give us some more war exhaustion, some more war score. Also help these two sieges to complete. I don't think the French fleet's going to come back. For a while. It's probably going to come back with another army. Oh, how cute. They're trying to run. Twenty-seven percent war score. Whatever it is you're offering, I'm not. Yep. See, they are. They're just hanging out in their capital. I don't know why they didn't just come around. Okay, but we haven't fully blockaded, so that's going to really hurt them. Negative ninety reasons now. Demands exceed war score. Yeah, I'm thinking we need probably about forty percent war score. Hey. I actually converted somebody into Orthodox. Yay! Erzurzen. We'll get that one going too. Let's bring you back over to Albania in case we need to go and defend this. He's actually trapped now in his capital because I've got the strait blockaded. As long as we protect this, this ship back here from any navy coming in from down there, we're actually pretty golden. His army can't fight our army now. Hey, improved reputation! For five more years, Diplo Rep plus five. Awesome. We have really high diplomatic reputation right now. Twelve. Wow. So when we do decide to annex Byzantium, it's going to be very quick. Please, Venice, surrender to me. Give me what I want. I know it's three entire whole provinces, but please. Oh, there's the fleet. 
18th. Oh, okay, Inland Seas. I'm scared. 2-2. Two, two. I'm scared. Please win. Please win. Just roll lucky. 7 versus 6. 0 versus... yeah. Zeros are bad. But their ships are dying, so even if they roll well now, it doesn't matter. We have more boats than you do. You're gonna die. There goes your navy. And your army. And we got more war score. Awesome. Go to hell. Okay. Make it to 76 reasons still. If these two things could just end... Alright, great. We won the Siege of Istria. Austria is actually contributing a navy in there. Why are we even fighting Austria? That, I don't want to fight Austria's navy. I don't care about Hungary. Please leave us alone. We promise to not fight you guys for a while until we come to take over your country and all that matters in the Holy Roman Empire. But if you must fight, then we will fight with fire. Damn it. All the little vassals of France are marching their way through. How quickly can we get there to reinforce? I'm worried about this. Serbia accepted peace from Naples. So Naples just stole two provinces over here, which means I don't have military access through that. I've got to go around now. Unless Naples wants to be friendly with me. They do. Which means we can cancel military access with him. Thirty-four percent. Hey, Austria, like, totally, let's stop fighting. So, sweet, now this army gets to stay exiled. Because it was traveling through terrain that it shouldn't have been when Serbia ended that. Damn. 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 Broke my siege of Dalmantia. Austria's accepted peace. It's very easy for us to kill this army. And <laughs> I think if it hadn't been for Naples ending their war with Serbia, we would have reinforced just enough to buy us another week to get this main force over here. But now we have to resume... Oh, hey, we didn't lose siege progress. That's nice. I don't know why that happened. Okay, Venice. We're at 36%. You want to surrender. I know you do. I get a 41 reasons. I think we gain Patriarch Authority. More conversion chance, right? It lowers our taxes slightly, but we reduce revolt risk, gain conversion chance, increase manpower. Sounds awesome. Bourbonnais is trying to take that back. Still have access through Hungary. Let's go fight them. Another little bit more war score from battles. It's annoying having to go all the way up to like 45% war score for this little three darn provinces. But I guess it's to be expected. Hey, Dalmatia, excellent. 40% now. Negative 25 reasons. Okay, getting pretty close. I'm going to take a break here. I think in the next video we'll end that, and then hopefully we'll still have those huge diplomacy bonuses, diplomatic reputation bonuses, we can annex Byzantium very quickly. That's my goal. So, cool. Thanks for watching, everyone. Look forward to seeing you soon. See you in a bit.